You ever feel like you're stuck, spinning your wheels, and making no progress? Want to find a way to break out of that? All right, let's go. A lot of people I talk to express the fact that they seem to be busy all the time and never really making serious progress towards their goals. When they ask me for advice, I usually tell them, you have to be as intentional with your time as you are with your money. Now, what does that mean? Now, the biggest houses, the most expensive cars, the biggest fortunes are all built one step at a time with intention. When you start to build a house, you do go by a plan, a bigger goal, what the house is going to look like when it's complete. But you do have to also focus on each step along the way. Each brick being laid counts towards the quality of the house. Same thing with your career and whatever you're trying to achieve. We usually get wrapped up in the millions we want to make, the big houses, the nice cars we want to buy, the end goal. And that's great because it is good to keep that stuff in mind. It'll keep you motivated during the grind. The problem is when we forget to focus on the steps along the way. So the answer isn't just being busy. The answer is being intentional with your time. So again, what do I mean by being intentional with your time? If you're going to sit down and work on a song or a video or a new business that you're running, you really have to set aside that time to be intentional to focus on that business. You have to be 100% locked in. A lot of us are so busy and not making progress because we're not focused and we're not auditing our time. I've talked a lot on this channel about auditing your money, about tracking your spending, about seeing where your money goes. That's the easiest way to fix any kind of cash flow problems you might have is to know where you're spending your money. Same thing with your time. If you're busy all the time and you're not making progress towards your goals, it's because you're not tracking how you're spending your time adequate. Now, a good way to do this is to set a mini goal for that day. And then at the end of the day, audit yourself. Ask yourself, did you accomplish that goal? Do you feel like you're closer to your larger goal? Now, all of this was taught to me by my friend and mentor, Mark Hildebrand, and he repeated it to me a lot of times before it finally clicked and I understood what he was saying. Being intentional means staying laser focused on the goal you're trying to reach. Or like Michael Jordan used to say, you have to be a laser, not a flashlight. All of these daily goals are what's going to get you to reach that bigger goal. So yeah, keep that larger stuff in mind. Keep those larger goals in mind. But you also have to make sure to be intentional to spend your time on the goals that you're trying to reach for that day. And what you'll find is it'll help you achieve balance in your life. So instead of spending 12 hours of 20% effort on whatever you're trying to achieve, you can spend one or two hours trying to launch that business or that YouTube channel or to get your music career off the ground. That'll free up more time to spend with your loved ones, family, and friends, and you'll just be happier and healthier overall. So just remember, being intentional means looking back at the end of your day and saying, yes, I got this step or that step step done. Be careful with your time, just like you would with your money. Set small daily goals, measure your progress, and then build on it. All right, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Talk to you guys soon.